What's going on, guys? If you want to learn how to get more cybersecurity interviews in 2020, stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Hey, man. This is weird. I know I'm be looking weird in this. I'm trying to pretty much make this be something simple. But, uh, yeah, man, I know people are still using sites like Indeed and Monster, Career Builder, and you name it. Pretty much like all those type of places um, trying to apply to jobs. So I'm wondering, hey, man, why I'm not? Why aren't I getting, you know, any callbacks and stuff on this and the answer is pretty simple uh, you you're pretty much doing stuff the old fashioned way man nobody is uh, I can't say nobody I might say it might be a good chance of people that are actually still getting jobs on Indeed you know what I'm saying but uh, this video is going to be more so like to help people take it a step further to basically not be you know be active in the job search process but more so be reactive in this process and I'm going to show you that and um, if you guys are interested in learning more about these type of things along with other various cybersecurity and IT information make sure you hit that subscribe button I also like to add for this video it's not only um, it will not only work just for cybersecurity this this will work for anybody pretty much but you guys can see right here, uh, let's say I'm going to type in cybersecurity analyst. Alright, look, I already popped up. We're going to search for it, right? And let's see. Okay, cool. So we see one for Citibank, right? So, okay, cool. Like, you can go Indeed. Sometimes you can do the Indeed regular apply. Then you can apply on a company site. Cool deal. So let's say I applied to all this, and now I'm trying to see, you know, what I want to do next. Or basically, you know, after you apply to something, you kind of like, oh, I wonder when they're going to contact me or whatever. What you can do is take a step further. Um, I'm gonna show you how to pretty much find recruiters and then what to say to reach out to them by. That's gonna be like probably the first half of this video. So let's go to LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, you guys are seeing my stuff. I'll probably cut some of this out. And so we just applied for the Citibank role, right? So let's do City Citibank. Look, there it is right there. Citibank, guys. And so this method I'm about to show you guys pretty much works the best on desktop so you can't really do this as well on the LinkedIn app on your phone but anyway so let's say okay I don't want to wait for the recruiter or whoever to hit me up and I'm trying to you know wait all this time and why didn't hear a call back you guys gotta realize they're getting like hundreds maybe even thousands of applicants for these roles man literally Yes, sometimes we don't think about how hard it is on their end to look at the talent. Because uh, I'm I plan to get somebody from HR on here, but I believe it just looks at if you have all these check boxes checked. And if yes, then your resume goes on. If not, you know, it goes to the wayside. And sometimes if you don't have yours formatted correctly or this or that, that could potentially hurt you and not let you get noticed but let's do this so we're going to go into people and look you can search by employees title the keyword of school so let's type in recruiter look I do this often so LinkedIn already knows what I want to do see how many people got the title recruiter cool let's see we're going to show more let's see if anybody's in the Dallas area Okay, cool. So we got 75 recruiters or somebody with that type in this area. Um, let's see who they are. So look, we have all these people right here. Um, talent acquisition, professional recruiter, you name it. Um, sometimes you can get a little granular. Sometimes let's see like I did. You can do this one or two ways. So I did this the recruiter route. But let's say... 
you want to go straight to possibly who might be doing um, the hiring for this. So you might want to say security analyst. Oops. And see, sometimes right here you may see people that are security analysts there, or someone is the manager. You can type in security manager or stuff like that. But pretty much you can get granular with your search and do your reaching out. Now, I know you guys want to know, well, what do I say to these people? And I'm going to show you some instances where I did this personally, but let's go back to the recruiters. Let's see, talent acquisition and insights. Let me see, recruiter at the city. So let's click on their profile. And let's say I want to, granted, I could just connect them straight up. Um, if I had email, I could do this. Let me see if I hit connect. Oh, oops. So look, if I want to add a note, right? I would do this. It might not let me send all this, but let me show you. So basically, I used to use this method when I was unemployed. I would say her name is Vernita. So I'll say, hi, Vernita. I'm in the process of looking for roles related to cybersecurity or a security analyst pressed by your experience and would love to connect via LinkedIn. Please feel free to reach out to discuss positions you would feel would be a great fit. Thanks. And it's a simple greeting. You're letting the people know up front what you're looking for and then, you know, they're going to look at your profile and they're going to say, okay, um, let's see what this guy's talking about. So I'm going to show you guys some real life examples of me doing this and my personal life so you guys won't believe that you know I'm just making stuff up or this doesn't work because it's easy you know YouTube and stuff like that people are always uh, doing stuff like this so let's say for example let me show you guys something um, this is different this is a little bit more than um, what I just told you to send but in this instance I reached out to a manager of a position I apply to and I don't care about you know I mean you guys could try to do that email or whatever or I might edit that out at this point I don't care but I don't have a number anymore so I don't care and as you guys can see I gave this guy a brief rundown of who I am my credentials or what my future credentials are the type of projects or certs I'm working on and some things I'm good at and did it just like that and in the next uh, message you see that he did this so when we're in this job search man like the people we're reaching out to they're trying to see persistence and how bad do we really want the job you know everybody when they say oh why should I hire you You're like man cuz I need some money but they or just want to see the length of stuff you go and you see right here he says sometimes the result of the screenings don't get passed along so remember earlier when I was saying like you could do something and you could apply something wrong with your resume and it didn't go through the way it's supposed to this is one of those instances and I'll give you guys another situation where I sent pretty much the same thing that um, I just told you guys about and I'm pulling up right here. So look at that. I reached out to this guy, very basic. Told him I'm in the process of looking at positions related to information security. I told him I was impressed by his experience and could he reach out. And I had already applied to a certain position at this particular company at the time. And um, so he probably already knew that possibly, but you see he said, thanks for reaching out. Um, and I sent him, you know, a copy of my resume and I did end up interviewing for that position as well. So these were two instances where instead of me waiting to see who's going to reach out to me, I decided that I'm going to 
reach out to them. So this, this is what we have to do in 2020. It's not the same as when our parents were getting jobs. And this is actually, matter of fact, this is the equivalent to, uh, I remember when I was younger and I was trying to work at uh, this store called Brookshire's in uh, Shreveport when I was younger. And my mom would say, well, apply and go in there and talk to the manager. Cause that's how you did stuff back in the day. You, you wore something nice and you went in there and said, hey, I applied to a position and this and that and to kind of fill you out. And they might say, okay, uh, come back for an interview tomorrow. This is the same thing. Literally, this is the same thing. And so many people are not utilizing this to its fullest potential. And you can utilize this. This is the one social network. I mean, you can do it on Twitter, sometimes Instagram. But this network, LinkedIn, is made just for stuff like this, networking. That's what it's pretty much networking, job searches, getting jobs. It's made just for this. And prior to 2018, I was not leveraging it the way I should. I mean, I was getting contacted about jobs and stuff like that. I'd play on it. But as far as leveraging it like this, I was not doing that. Okay. So now what I'm about to show you guys now is um, I wish I had screenshot this post. It's from a long time ago. This is two years ago when I wasn't working. And a recruiter basically, um, she made a post about hey I'm looking for people that want to work I think it was security analyst roles or whatever type of roles she was looking for those type of people and she said hey you know contact, here's my email contact me now I already knew the do's and don'ts many people tend to just send their resume and say hey I'm interested in a job a recruiter's going to see that and they're going to hit delete so let me show you guys what I did. And mind you, I also want you guys to know when I sent this, uh, some of my grammar is messed up in it. I think I was texting it in a class or whatever, but I mean, going through, I forgot how many months I was unemployed. That's going to be a whole video on its own, but going through all that, I was determined to find something. I didn't, I was never going to say no for an answer, no matter what. So, hey, check this out. I saw what she was talking about. Uh, of course, this was a position for silence at the time. And at the bottom, you kind of see that's my, my own resume. <laughs> but um, she said, I told him I previously applied to the tier two position in Plano. Um, I basically told him it's kind of company I want to work for. Basically gave my background, brief background, kind of like uh, my career summary. I don't have objective anymore. Uh, objectives are more for people who are looking to get into entry level roles because they don't have a lot of experience but don't worry guys I'll be able to help you guys with all that very very soon um oops <laughs> uh, if you're reading this you see why I used to work at but I'm gonna black that out <laughs> and I test my updated resume on there so and after I did this this is what she replied with And for you all guys that want to know, yes, I did end up interviewing with these people. They liked me. I didn't get this position because this is one of those positions. And as you guys get more experience, you'll find out that some companies will do these uh, interviews and this and that uh, based on, hey, we're bidding for this contract. So if we do get it, we want to have everyone we have you know, interviewed up already. So pretty much that's what the issue was they were like well this job can be here it won't depends on if you know if we get this contract and I don't think they got that particular contract that they were trying to get but the fact that I was able to be proactive and get an interview just off basic you know simple things very simple um, shows like I won't say how easy it is but of course I had to have a, you know a decent enough resume and decent enough experience for them to want to interview me but I put the I put the ball in my hands and took advantage of it and and did what I needed to do to secure an interview I mean I'm I'm in DFW area I don't know how many people it is uh, I might look that up right now I'm gonna close this out let's see how many people are in DFW so it says around uh, Six point eight million people in the DFW area. Now, I mean, it's saying right there, one point three five for Dallas, but that's a lot of people, man. Uh, that's a lot of people, and you're 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 competing with all that. So, 
it's about the small things that will set you apart. I mean, I, I love sports. I'm a big boxing fan. And on the highest level, it's always the small things. Can you do the small things right to set yourself apart and prepare yourself for victory? So in doing all those things, you will set yourself up for victory. And you will, most of the time, come out with a dub. Now, this is different because you have to see if you're fit and they like you and this and that. You may not always get the job, but eventually you will get the job. And you can also know that, hey, this job is for me and I put my work in for this. But this has been a brief video on pretty much how to land a cybersecurity interview, how to job search in 2020. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell icon. Share this on your social media. Comment below. If uh, you took anything away from this video, please let me know in the comment section. If it's something you want me to touch on more, let me know in the comment section. Uh, contact information is always in the description. Like always, um, you can connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram at tech underscore chatter, at the Facebook page at tech underscore chatter. And pretty soon, I have my consulting business coming up. And if you want to get a consultation, you can do that too. Even now, you can reach out to me for a consultation. Um, my prices aren't set yet, but if you want, you know, that much more one-on-one -on -one time, hey, reach out to me and tell me what you want to do, and I'll, I'll clear some time for you in my schedule. But I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. It's your boy HD. 